Good afternoon class, my name is Specialist Jackson. Today we'll be going over leader development, good characteristics of a good leader, and how can you become a good leader. The slides you'll see on the screen right here are unclassified, they're for educational purposes only. First thing we'll be going on to is good characteristics of a leader. Dependability, integrity, decision making, professionalism, teamwork, drive and motivation, understanding and direction, organization, safety skills, and adaptability. Dependability, it's important to be able to be dependable. You wanna be able to be a dependable soldier, leader. You want your chain of command and NCOs over you to be able to come with you with come to you with a problem or a mission, or something for you to be able to accomplish in a timely manner. You don't want them to hesitate coming to you thinking you might not be able to get it done. Integrity. It's important to have integrity. You want to be loyal to yourself and your soldiers underneath you. You want to be able to do the right thing at all times. Decision making. It's important to be able to come up with a good decision quick. You, sometimes you might not have a lot of time to accomplish a task or something, but you have to be able to come up with a good decision and have it benefit you and your soldiers underneath you. Professionalism. It's important to remain professional, whether it's at work, off, like in the, off post, you need to be able to be professional. That way you can set a good example and be a role model for your soldiers. Teamwork. It's important to be a team player. You don't want people doing everything for you. If they need help, you need to be able to help them and be there for your soldiers. Drive and motivation. Drive and motivation is important. What's going to get you through the day? Whether it be your family, whether it be working with the, your peers in the motor pool, serving your country, you find something that's going to get you through the day and something that's going to be, make you happy to go to work and enjoyable. Understanding direction. It's important to understand direction. You need to be able to come up with a solution quick. And when the chain of command briefs you on what to do, you need to be able to take that and run with it to accomplish the task. Organization. It's important to be organized at all times. If you have a leader book, that will benefit you greatly. You might not have a lot of time always, and they might come to you real quick and be like, hey, I need your soldier's information. What size shirt does he wear? What size face mask or what size boot? If you have that in your leader book, you have everything about your soldiers in your book. Safety skills. It's important to stay safe. You wanna be able to look and know what's right, what's wrong, what could happen. If you see one of your soldiers doing something that's unsafe, it's important to stop them right there and correct them. You don't have to be rude about it, but you can, you can formally tell them how to fix that and what they're doing wrong. Adaptability. It's important to be adaptable in the Army. The Army is always changing and growing. You can't be stuck in the past. If you're stuck in the past, you won't be able to be a great leader. You want to be able to be a great leader and move and grow with the Army and be able to accept change. What does the Army do to provide you with skills to be a better leader? They have schools for all non-commissioned officers. You have BLC, ALC, SLC, MLC, Sergeant Major Academy. You also have the Leadership Requirement Model, or the LRM. You have senior peers and role models that are outrank you, and you can look up to them and go with them with questions that you may have or concerns. Here's what the LRM looks like. You have your attributes, a leader of character, a leader with presence, a leader with intellectual capacity. You want to be able to be a leader of character and live by the Army values. A leader with presence. You want to be able to be there for your soldiers and not have them to have to call you all the time. You want to know what's going on in your soldiers' lives inside and outside of work. A leader with intellectual capacity. You want to be able to be smart about things and think outside of the box. Core leader competencies. You want to be able to lead, develop, and achieve. First, you have to be able to lead your soldiers in the right direction. To do that, you have to be going in the right direction yourself. You want to be able to develop your soldiers. Developing your soldiers is helping them be able to become a great leader as yourself. Achieve. After you lead and develop your soldiers, then you can achieve, as a team, you can achieve your mission or task that's at hand. You, so you can, overall, you can learn from great leaders. Great leaders are really important. 
But you can also learn from bad leaders. Bad leaders might only care about themselves or not put work first or have drama outside of work and not respect others. But you can, you can still learn from those NCOs. Just because they're not a great leader doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to see what's right and what's wrong. It's important to see a bad leader and be like, okay, I don't want to be like this NCO. I want to do this differently. I don't need to follow in their footsteps just because they outrank me. You still need to respect that NCO because they do outrank you, but it doesn't mean you have to do everything that they do. It's important to have take full effect of the leadership, schools, and training that the Army has and provides for you. You're not going to be in the Army forever, whether you're ETSing or retiring. It's important to take full advantage of all these schools because when you do decide to get out of the Army, You'll be, you'll be the leader that civilian jobs need you to be, and you can take on more responsibilities. You'll have responsibilities that maybe some people that weren't in the military have, like you'll have discipline and time management skills that others may not have. That wraps up today's brief. Do I have any other questions? No? All right, well, y'all have a good day, and enjoy your evening.